welcome back to the channel. So what's up, what's up, what's up? Keep for some stands. Some stands, some standing action. We've got a sick day ahead because we're back in Shelby, South Africa uh, with our friends. And we actually were here about two weeks ago. We did a track there with them as well. But I wanted to come back and show you guys the Shelby Tilingua because I think this is a really special car. In fact, it's so special, it's only 75 in the world. <laughs> and we're going to do a shoot uh, on the car today. We're going to go for a drive, get some, uh, some of the visceral experience for you guys. And so let's go have a look inside. And here's the beauty right here. Who? <laughs> Yeah, it's stunning, man. So immediately you can see carbon fiber hoods get that uh, weight reduction down. Carbon Ceramic fiber brakes. Fiber carbon fiber everywhere. Yeah, beautiful car. Can you guess the horsepower? It's 800. 700. So it's got between 0 and 850. 850. <laughs> <laughs> between 0 and 850. It uh, depends on your foot and your and your corners. <laughs> no, beautiful car. Yeah, so between sort of 800 and 850 horsepower. But uh, maybe that's Linga Racing Team. There's quite a bit of heritage around racing team itself as well. We'll get a cold start for you guys now as well. But yeah, so a very uh, track focused car. You got your Shelby Super Snake. I think this is sort of one level above it. You can see they go, both look pretty mean. Got the different sort of visual aspects, carbon pieces, upgraded brakes. So essentially, this is actually a standard Mustang GT, which has been super beefed up with suspension brakes, uh, supercharger, horsepower. I think the seats are different as well. Carbon bits everywhere to keep it nice and light. It's quite a, it's quite a performance, quite an athlete. And I think zero to 100 in 3.5 seconds, eh? Really? Yeah. So it's a solid car <laughs> and what's what's really cool is that in Shelby South Africa they've got an agreement with Ford yeah. um, so if you buy one of these cars you get a three-year warranty and a maintenance plan warranty as well. That's a deal there. That's a deal and I think the cost is about two million rand. So two million rand, what's it, $120,000? You get a warranty, 3.5 seconds, there's 100, 800 horsepower. <laughs> And you look good. And you look great. You look, you look like you're styling. Not bad. I think that's a great product. You guys should know about it. If you guys want to come buy one, come to Shelby. We'll put a link in the description. Right, let's get a cold start for you guys. Yeah. 
that's obviously your number. CSM is Carol Shelby Mustard. Oh, okay, cool. So you got Papa Shelby. Yeah, it's Papa thing yeah. also. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. I love the love the of yellow. She got her job. Sure. Yeah, it's good. So job is bad boy. Cool. What's the thing? Nice seats, eh? Whew, okay. So you've been you've been in this game for a very long time, eh? Most of them. Yeah. <laughs> if you take the basic must set, yeah, it's the best bang for your buck sports car you can get. And the, and the, and the standard car is not a slouch. No, for sure, yeah. And they're, they're a looker. Yeah, I'll get it. There's no question. People love the Mustang, eh? It's a, it's a very loved car. It's got so much heritage and uh, history behind it as well. This is with Carol, Carol yeah. Shelby. And, uh, and the, the, the actual Tilinga racing team, how did that? So, Tilinga was the name of Carol Shelby's rabbit farm. Oh, okay. Texas. And he decided in 67 that he was going to go and have a crack at winning the American Trans Am Championship. Okay. And the car that he was going to use was going to be the 67 Mustang. And he went to see Ford. And Ford basically told him to get stitched. They said, We're going to do the Trans Am Championship ourselves. Okay. <laughs> and the bottom line is he decided, cool, and he called it Tilingua Racing and he painted the cars yellow and cut the long story short, he trashed Ford. He beat them in their own cars. <laughs> so that's where Tilingua comes from. And that's why the Tilingua cars were yellow. That's why this car has got yellow supercharger, yellow calipers, and the Tilingua rabbit. Okay. So these gauges, yeah, that's that's obviously that's all supercharger. So they're all three supercharger related. Okay. No, no, that's temperature. Yeah. And then fuel pressure, and then boost. Okay. But you'll see boost runs in the negative till you whack it. Okay. And it goes to the positive. Okay, that's pretty cool. So when you're idling like this, there's no boost. For sure, yeah. So what are we doing? Like, we're we doing 1200 RPM. Yeah. Which is, yeah, is this for, for race so, mode? So, yeah, yeah, you've got all the different modes here. You can see drive mode, so you've got normal, sport plus, track. Okay. The next one over here, you've got for your steering, so you've just got normal, and then you've got sport and comfort, so just go to sport. Okay. And then the next one is basically your traction control to take it on or off. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, me about a, a supercharged V8, that sounds, that sounds good, eh? Get bored of that. Yeah. And I was up the road, we got the police here. Yeah. Should ask if he wants to race. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I'm, not, now I'm just in normal mode. This is not sport mode, no. Just cruising, yeah. Yeah. 
Satellite 500 Galaxy. Awesome. Can we get some early shots of the Tilingua? Mustang's not good. I'm a fan. <laughs> Mustang fanboy. I'm a fan. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for a line lock? <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, a line lock's a burnout. Small rubber in the morning. <laughs> yeah. We see some cappuccino now, we've sorted. <sighs> that's gonna be cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that's what's gonna look. But yeah, Peter, thank you so much. No problem, no problem. It was awesome. It was uh, sure. really great to chat to you. Thank you. Sure. Really, really cool. so, top three cars in the world. Is the Tilingo with one of them? Yes. <laughs> now it is, yeah. Now it is. <laughs> I really want one. Alright, so that was pretty sick. So uh, yeah, Shelby Tilingo Mustang. What a machine. <laughs> look at it, it's beautiful. So yeah, thank you Shelby to Africa, you guys are legends. Let's have a quick uh, walk around the rest of the showroom. We were here two weeks ago, but if you guys missed that video, then we can just have a quick follow-up on all the cars that are, that are here. This is the GC350 that Peter was talking about. Beautiful. I've seen this car on the track since I was about this high. Really, really cool. Nice Capri V8 in the back. Capri, uh, Capri Piranha. There's a Super Snake, so you guys can get a pretty good idea of what the differences are in terms of their visual appearance. So, yeah, front spoiler is pretty much the same. The bonnet's slightly different. The Super Snake's got this huge uh, scoop, but I think I actually prefer the Tilingua still. It's really sexy. This is really beautiful. It's a co recreated Cobra Daytona. I think a, this is built in South Africa, which is quite uh, quite impressive because it's quality, man. Look how beautiful this thing is. Look at this build quality. Carol Shelby, signed by the man himself. Well, not himself, but. It's got, a, it's got a signature. <laughs> Very cool there. Yeah. Mark 2 GT40. Yes. Ivan, is this an original? Uh, no, so it's um, it's, what, it's kind of what we call a continuation car. Okay. Um, Model literally to the millimeter on the original. So it's kind of as close as you're going to get to the original. It's so, like a perfect um, recreation. Perfect recreation, yeah. It's a recreation. It's part of our heritage collection. So the Daytona's, the GT, Daytona's GT40's and Cobra's all come out the same factory. Same guys that built the cars for the movies. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's quite what you're looking at. Proper. That, that it's a nice way of continuation because if you call it a replica, people they, I think it's a kick car. they throw yeah. something at yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, a yeah. 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 it's a recreational. So it's a, we call it a continuation, it's a yeah. heritage collection car. So if you guys want to buy one, just get a hold of uh, this man here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, use, use Cardiacs and get 10% off. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take a step back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a 10% off, I mean 10% uh, add on for extra coffee. Yeah, yeah, well, just feet about that. <laughs> Get the sensation of closing this. Oh, that felt really good. I'll do it again. <laughs> oh, jeez, feels good, eh? All right, guys, that's a wrap with our uh, Shelby Tilingo shoot. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like. Versus Shelby SA, uh, they got some really cool stuff. If you guys want to buy Tilingo, I would, I would recommend it. <laughs> Definitely. It's, I think it's really good value for money. It's, I'm a fan. Yeah, new Mustang fanboy. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's honestly nothing else you can get on this level for the money, I don't think. Yep, if you have the money, you can buy one immediately. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Sweet.